What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. I feel like I haven't sat down in my closet to film in so long, it feels so good. I have been on summer vacation mentally. <laughs> physically. Do you see this tan by the way? I'm not over it, but my face, you can tell that I always put my face in the shade because this is not matching, but we're gonna fix that in just a second. I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. Not even gonna front, okay? I'm not even gonna lie, I'm ready for fall. My favorite season in the entire world is fall, and you know, I, if I could skip right over August and go right into fall, I would be totally okay. And my birthday is in August. I'm gonna be 25 next month, which is absolutely crazy. That's how much I love fall. I'm willing to skip over my birthday month completely. But um, other than that, I feel like I haven't sat down and shown you like my true makeup routine in a long time. This makeup routine is sweat proof. It is, actually I found it by testing out all of the viral products I was seeing all over TikTok and Instagram from Dior. So I'm so excited and honored that this video is in collaboration with Dior Beauty. Like, is that... I'm at a loss for words. This is like a dream come true. So like I said, I've seen their products going viral all over Instagram and TikTok, and I believe it was at the beginning of June, I went out and bought all of the viral products and then they reached out to me and here we are. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my summer sweat proof makeup routine because if you don't know, the Dior Backstage line is waterproof and sweat proof and their uh, foundation and concealer combo is the perfect summer combination. Um, I'm also just gonna be talking and chatting and doing a little get ready with me and giving you guys a little bit of a life update because there's a lot going on. So if you wanna see my sweat proof, waterproof, summer makeup routine then just keep watching okay so on my face right now i just have some moisturizer on nothing fancy my makeup routine is cut down to like 10 minutes it just keeps getting shorter and shorter because i just keep having less and less patience i don't know how i used to sit and do my makeup for hours and hours and hours and i also realized that i like a more natural makeup look this okay i would describe my makeup as like a natural a natural glam like I want to look natural and I don't want to have a million products on my face however I do want to you know look a little glam and look a little put together so this is the Dior backstage face and body foundation I have the color 2WP it might be a little bit light for me at the moment actually it looks like it's gonna match so this is great for all year round but specifically in these warmer months or if you're going on vacation this has a medium um, buildable coverage i just apply it with my fingers so i put a little bit on my fingers and i'm just rubbing it oh it's like butter on my skin um so like i said it has a medium buildable coverage and it's sweat proof and humidity proof waterproof so i don't know about where you live but where i live it is so humid all the time i always have to be thinking about that when i'm doing my makeup and then i was just in greece where obviously i'm sweating because it is a million degrees there and so incredibly hot and beautiful put it on my forehead so yeah it's a little bit light for me but don't worry i have the best bronzer i'm going to show you yeah i always need to be thinking about how i'm going to make my makeup last longer and i find that because it's like a natural medium buildable coverage it just looks better throughout the day and it stays in place i've worn this to a spinning class before it's like a charity spinning class and it didn't move so that was like the true testament that it's not going anywhere and i just use my hands because i feel like the heat from my hands kind of like blends it in and makes it all nice and pretty this concealer has basically been the only concealer i've used since I got it, what really intrigued me, I'm not even gonna lie, okay? It's the simplest little things that intrigue me is the applicator. It is like a, a paintbrush. Do you see that? It's what first intrigued me, but it's infused with caffeine. So it really wakes up your under eye and it's a full coverage, but it's still natural looking. And sometimes I'll go in with my fingers, but you know what? I think today I'm gonna go in with just like a beauty sponge and blend it out and it has a beautiful radiant finish. 
but still has like pretty full coverage, which is great. And the combination with the foundation is just perfect because they're both waterproof. Like they're not budging off of your face. Waterproof, you'll, if you noticed like even waterproof mascara, which I have the best brown waterproof mascara, um, if it's waterproof, it just stays longer. It holds better throughout the day. I know you're thinking that this doesn't match, but in person, I'm not that dark. I think that this camera is exaggerating my tan, but don't worry, we're gonna bronze up my face. In the summertime, having so many layers on my face is not ideal. In the winter, I can get away with doing like cream contour and then powder contour and then bronzer. But in the summertime, I rather like set my face with my bronzer than go in also with a cream contour. So I've just been skipping the cream contour stage and I've been liking how it looks. To set my face, I'm going in with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder Professional Performance Perfecting Translucent Powder. This is in the color zero neutral so i'll go in this actually my sister told me to pick up and she was so right about it it has kind of like not a sparkle in it because it, i don't it's more of like a pearl so it gives like a really natural luminous finish to your skin so i'll go in and i'll pick some up on my beauty blender and then set wherever i put my concealer What kind of makeup have you guys been into recently? I feel like I don't watch a ton of like beauty videos anymore. And you know what? It's just crazy because I used to be buying like new products all the time. And I don't, because I don't watch so much beauty YouTube anymore, I don't. And I'm like using up the products that I genuinely love. And um, I'm using these products every day. What kind of makeup are you guys into? Is everyone into more natural makeup? Are you still into like the heavier makeup? For me, it really depends on what I'm doing. Like if I'm going for dinner, you better believe I'm putting a full face of makeup on. Okay, and then I'm going in the same powder. I like the powder so much that I got it in 4N also, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm picking it up with my beauty blender, and I'm just going to go in and set and kind of contour with it. It's such a unique powder because it looks so natural and gives you, can you see, can you see that sheen that it gives you? And I love how it blends together on top of the foundation with the other powder. It all just looks so seamless. So next month, like I said, is my birthday. I am turning 25. I know some of you guys like to say that I look like I'm 55 and that's okay to each their own. We all have our different opinions, but I'm turning 25 next month. My birthday is on August 29th and uh, just really crept up on me. Um, I feel like yesterday I was 15 and now I'm 25. And when I was younger, I used to be like, wow, like when am I going to be 25? Like I'm going to have my whole Life together, I'm gonna be married. I'm obviously gonna have two kids by the time I'm 25. And newsflash, no. <laughs> and I'm not in a rush, you know? I feel like I was like so in a rush to have everything figured out and do everything. And I feel like social media really does that to you. Like seeing everyone online, like personally at this very moment, I do not wanna get married or have babies, but seeing everyone online getting married and having babies, I'm like, should I be getting married and having babies? But no, because that's not what I want. You know, I still want to be selfish for a few more years before I start thinking about that stuff. You know, like I can barely take care of myself. It's just crazy what social media can like put in your head, you know? You just have to remember like do whatever feels right for you. I don't know how I got on that topic. <laughs> oh, my birthday. Oh yeah, so my birthday is next month and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Okay, so I just did some quick eyebrows. I want to quickly touch on my house and all of that stuff. The powder is infused in a gel base. So it really just blends with, like, can you see? It like blends with the foundation. It looks so flawless and like blurs all my pores. I cannot see a single pore. Anyways, I wanted to quickly talk about my house and everything. I've officially been living here for almost six months, which is crazy because I feel like I just moved in. And I can officially say, I don't get me wrong, I love my house and 
the people who built my house in the circumstances of being in a pandemic did great. The company is called Voyer and I'm just going to go in with the same powder and put it on in my crease. The, the company overall who built my house did a great job. I think get in the circumstances and based on horror stories I heard from other people building during the pandemic, the, the biggest thing I still get asked is, are you um, happy you built or do you wish you bought? I'm thinking of building, where did you build? I'm thinking of building, do you, are you still happy you made that choice? And if I'm being honest, don't get me wrong. I love my house. I'm so fortunate that I was able to build it and I'm, like, I love my house. However, I don't know if I would do it again. And I definitely don't think I would do it again alone. It's a lot. It's a lot. You know, when you buy a house, most of the time you have the grass, you have the fence, you have everything that comes along that you don't even really realize goes into a house. Or maybe you do realize and I'm just the dummy who didn't realize. I mean, obviously I did my research and I, I knew I would have to do all these things. But when you actually have to do them, and pay for them, it's not fun. Let me just tell you that. And there's so many things you have to get done, so many delays right now. The prices of everything is just crazy. So I honestly don't know if I would do it again. And if you're considering building, I would just say like really take a step back and think about are you going to wanna to have to do absolutely everything when it comes to your house, your backyard, the fence, the driveway? And at the beginning, at the forefront, at, before I embarked on this, the idea of having to do a backyard, a fence, and a driveway didn't seem that daunting. But in the moment, like right now, it's just like one thing after another that you have to do. And obviously it gets so expensive. You know, a fence alone, I got quoted, $17,000. I didn't end up paying 17 grand for my friends. So that's why you haven't really been seeing a lot of house content because I've been focusing on the non-interesting things that go into a house, like a fence. And I'm sure that maybe one person cares, but the majority of people don't care about my fence. So I'm just getting back into redoing the inside. I'm starting my bedroom renovations, which I'm doing all myself. So I am vlogging it and I'm doing the moldings and the paneling and everything myself so you better believe that you're gonna see that on my channel. I just like redid my living room which I'm obsessed with. I'm going in with this Dior Forever Nude Glow Highlight. Um, I'm just tapping it. Look how stunning that is. This is the prettiest highlight. One thing also that I do um, which just makes your the whole face just looks so much more cohesive is I use the same products all over my face so I'll use this on my eyes and then I'll also go in and use this on my cheeks like I'll just pick up a little bit and sweep it on my cheeks and it all matches and it goes together and looks so pretty and the same thing for the bronzer like I use it on my eyes and on my face I'm using this Dior what is this called um, on stage liner waterproof liquid eyeliner. This is an actual liner. If you've been watching, if you've watched any of my makeup tutorials, tutorials, okay, I'm gonna classify this as a tutorial. Um, if you watch any of my get ready with me's, you would know I don't use liquid liner, but I like using it in the summertime because it just stays so much better when you're sweating. If you, you know, for so many reasons. And this is a brown liquid liner and it looks so nice and it applies so nicely. I'm not naked, okay? I have my shirt still on, but I thought you might wanna be a little bit more up close for this. One tip about your liner is that a lot of people try to connect their liner to the end of their brow. That is gonna give you, that's, that's too high. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do, I mean, do whatever you want. Really, when it comes to your face, your body, if you want to put it straight up, do it. <laughs> I don't care. Um, but what I find the most flattering, and Siren Eyes right now are really in on TikTok. I feel like I've been doing kind of a sort of Siren Eyes forever. Um, but you want to align the angle of your eyeliner with the angle of this part of your brow. So if you see like this angle, you want to just copy that angle. And I find it so much easier if you rest your pinky on your like cheekbone. Okay. 
One thing also that you need to stop doing is worrying too much about your liquid eyeliner. No one's coming up to your liquid eyeliner with a magnifying glass and looking at if the lines are perfect. In the comments below, I want you to write your favorite podcast because I, I don't listen to music. It's a fun fact about me that everyone finds insane. I don't know why, I just has never felt this connection to music that other people seem to feel. Like Etan is constantly playing music and the thought of playing music just never crosses my mind. I would much rather listen to a podcast. I've always been like that. And now you probably think I'm crazy, but I want you to leave your favorite podcast in the comments below because I am fresh out of podcast. I listen to The Morning Toast. I listen to Something Was Wrong. I like true crime, but it's just intense, you know, like waking up, going on a walk. I don't really want to be listening to someone getting about someone getting murdered. So something, you know, fun and easy to listen to. Or if you have a podcast, leave it down below and I want to listen to it. Okay. So as you can see, I kind of just connected it. Um, this eye is my problem child. So we're just not going to look at her. And then I kind of connect it to the bottom part, but that kind of does it on its own, I find. And you can um, put it as long or as little as you want. Okay, now for mascara. I got an eyelash tint and lift, but it's honestly all pretty much all gone. I do like it for the summer. I don't know if it's something I'm going to continue because... It kind of like messed up my lashes on this one side. This side was absolutely perfect, I'm obsessed. But again, on this side of my face, <laughs> everything seems to be going wrong. Outer part of my lashes, they're just like, some of them go straight. For my everyday look, when I'm doing more of like a natural look, my natural look, yes, it does consist of a huge wing. I use these two products. It is the Dior Maximizer 3D Triple Action Lash Primer Serum Volume Curl and Definition. I've been using this because, like I said, ever since I got my lash lift, some of my lashes are a little bit wonky looking. I just like the serum part of this and then it also makes your lashes look very whoop. And then this is my favorite waterproof mascara. It's the Dior Show Waterproof 698. It's brown. It's a brown waterproof mascara. So I'll go in and just make sure my eyelashes are nice and separated before I put on. <gasps> Wait, you guys, I forgot a very important thing. How could I have almost forgotten this? I always do this. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of this brown and sweep it under my eye. So I go in with the mascara um, primer and I just go in. I make sure I get it at the base of my lashes and this way it really separates the lashes. Like, can you, I want you to really see that. Really separates the lashes and then I don't let it dry. I go in right away with the, look at that huge Mama Jama brush. And you can see it's like a true brown. It's not a brown black. It is so nice. And I just go in and kind of flick the mascara on. And I always get mascara. I'll show you guys how to take that off super easily. You just wanna let it dry and then you go in with a spoolie and kinda just scratch it off and it comes right off. And then this is La Pièce de Résistance. It's a game-changing blush. It has literally changed my life. I cannot use any other blush. It is the one that went viral. I think Kylie Jenner is the one who made it viral. It's the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in this color that is quite alarming not even gonna lie, like that's not the color of a blush I would typically wear, but, it, and it, the packaging is so cute. Notice how, I, how I've literally used the same brush for my whole face. Did you know that to get the perfect spot for your blush, this you're supposed to go from the tip of your nose to the corner of your iris and place it right there and then blend it kind of up like that. And then I always put some over my nose and kind of blend it in. Have you guys seen the Elvis movie? I saw it last week and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was extremely long. But ever since I saw it, I have had this like obsession with Elvis. Like all I do is look up videos of Elvis. Now my whole YouTube is just recommending me videos of Elvis. I've fallen down the Elvis rabbit hole. And it's crazy because I've obviously known about Elvis my whole life. But 
I didn't know anything about him at the same time. It, like the whole story is just so interesting. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. Just, it's long. I'm just warning you, it's a long movie, but it was so good. And then I think tonight with my sister Nikki, I'm gonna go see Where the Crawdads Sing. I have heard mixed reviews about that. All right, you guys, so that is it for my summer sweat proof, heat proof, summer proof, waterproof makeup. The base, I swear, will last you all day long. Same with the eyes. The only thing you might have to apply again is your lip combo. I just put on the lip combo I wear and you've seen a million times. I just wanna thank once again Dior for sponsoring this video. I cannot even believe it. It's like literally a dream come true. As per usual, I will leave everything linked down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week and i'll see you guys back here in my next video bye